Welcome to lesson 3.8. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at L'Hopital's rule, which makes use of differentiation to help us dispense with certain of the uh, seven indeterminate forms that we encountered uh, briefly when we were looking at limits earlier in the semester in unit one. So let's take a quick look at these indeterminate forms and L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule can also help with determining limits at infinity um, for asymptotic behavior. Um, in other words, if the function is approaching uh, positive or negative infinity and it's unbounded at an asymptote. So when evaluating limits by direct substitution, there are seven expressions known as indeterminate forms. And these are 0 over 0, infinity over infinity. These are the two primary ones that we'll be dealing with in terms of L'Hopital's rule. But there are five others, 0 times infinity, 1 to the infinity power, 0 to the infinity power, infinity minus infinity, and infinity to the zero power. And so um, typically what is done in more advanced uh, calculus is that when you encounter one of these remaining five forms, if you can, try to rewrite it in such a way that you get one of these and then apply L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule is um, invaluable in terms of dealing with this type of situation. So rational uh, algebraic expressions and, and limits of those expressions are certainly vulnerable to, to this type of situation. So let's take a look at what we have. A limit quotient of f of x over g of x as x approaches a. And what L'Hopital's rule states is that when f of x over g of x has one of the two indeterminate forms of the type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity at x equals a, then what we can do is just simply replace f of x with f prime of x and g of x with g prime of x. In other words, this then becomes equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x over g prime of x. Now take a minute and let this sink in. Realize that we are not doing the quotient rule. This is not, even though this is a ratio, even though this is a quotient, we're not differentiating the quotient. We're taking the derivative of what's on top and dividing it by the derivative of what's on the bottom. So it's actually a lot easier than the quotient rule. So this is really nice. All right, so a little bit of formal statement here. Assume f of x and g of x are differentiable on an open interval that contains a. So a is that value that our limit is approaching. We also assume that f of a is equal to g of a is equal to 0. In other words, we get 0 over 0 when we take the limit of the quotient. It follows then that the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x over g prime of x. Once again, we're not applying the quotient rule. We're just simply differentiating the top and differentiating the bottom. Now, it says if the limit on the right side exists or is infinite, so either positive or negative infinity. So the conclusion also holds if f of x and g of x are differentiable for x near but not equal to a. And if we get uh, the limit of f of x approaches plus or minus infinity and the limit of x approaches a of g of x is plus or minus infinity, then we can still make use of this rule. So in other words, our indeterminate forms here are going to be 0 over 0 and plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. 